Hi, I'm Karen Grete from Scandinavia and today I'm going to make banana flavored æbleskiver today and of course in Denmark we like to eat æbleskiver a lot and this time I will serve them with vanilla flavored whipped cream and a rum sauce. I think it gives it a really nice touch and I'm sure you will also like it. So let's start mixing the ingredients. The first step is to do the filling for our empty skewer and I'm going to use two bananas, a quarter cup of brown sugar, I'm going to use two tablespoons of unsalted butter, and a quarter teaspoon of nutmeg as well as a pinch of salt. So let's peel the peel the bananas and slice them and then we're going to cook it in the pot. And now I'm going to add the brown sugar. It's a quarter cup of brown sugar as well as the two tablespoons of butter. And mix it up. Of course, now the butter will melt. And also, I'm going to add a pinch of salt, just a pinch, not too much. And then the spice goes in. And I'm going to cook this for about five, six minutes. That should be sufficient. Of course, I don't want to turn it up too high. Here we have the banana. Uh, they have been cooking now for a while and I'm just mashing them a little bit so I can put it inside the Ebli skewer. And the batter for the Ebli skewer are the following. One cup of milk, one cup of flour, two tablespoons of unsalted butter, two egg yolks. I separated the eggs. Here I have the two egg whites which I'm going to whip up a little bit later. Then I have one and a half tablespoon of sugar. I have half a teaspoon of baking powder and a quarter teaspoon of salt. And I also have half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. So we're going to mix the ingredients together now. Okay, so here we have the flour and I'm going to add the baking powder to the flour, the salt as well as the sugar. And I mix it up a little bit. All right. And then I'm going to add the milk. One cup of milk, as well as the melted butter. The two tablespoons of melted butter. And then I have two egg yolks. And I'm going to use my mixer. Just mix it up a little bit. And I'm adding another quarter cup of flour to the mixture because I find it's a little too thin. And now I'm whipping the egg whites. Stick. And I'm mixing the stiff egg whites into the batter and we're just about ready to finish our Ebli skewer. Just fold it in. I melted the butter in the Ebli skewer pan and now we can start filling it up. Here we have the batter. And of course the butter is fine now. And I put one tablespoon in and then I'm going to add some of the banana in the center and then I put another spoonful on top and we do that in all the holes. There we go. comes the bananas in the center. And then a little bit of 
have the batter on top again. Cover up the bananas. down the head. You don't want them to get too burned on the one side and you don't want the apple skewer to get burned so you keep an eye on the heat before you know you turn them over okay they look pretty good to me and I might turn them a second time though you kind of have to keep an eye on it and of course my apple skewer are nice and brown and you can always keep turning them a couple of times you know uh, it really doesn't take a long time to cook them at all so here we have a pan that's all finished and I'll keep baking and uh, finish it off with when I serve them I'm going to use some whipped cream and some rum sauce and I do have a recipe for rum sauce on my YouTube as well as on my blog so please check that out and I'm going to serve my banana apple skewer with whipped cream on top All right, and then I like to pour some of the rum sauce on here it comes and just and that should be absolutely delicious to eat. So, mm. this is a great combination. Very tasty, and of course, it's kind of festive too, I think. And uh, thank you for watching. I hope you'll also enjoy eating our banana ibde skewer with rum sauce and whipped cream. And please subscribe to our channel, we appreciate it so much. And uh, I'll see you another day. Let's go.